It's important to keep your computer clean, not only because it looks nice, but also because things like dust and dirt can affect your computer's performance. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Here's the right way to clean your computer case, monitor, mouse, and keyboard. First, always turn off or unplug the item before you clean it, just to be safe. If it has a PS2 connector like this, make sure the computer is shut down, both when you unplug the cable and when you plug it back in. To clean your keyboard, turn it upside down and gently shake it to remove any dust, dirt, or crumbs. It's not uncommon for stuff to get stuck inside, which can affect the way your keyboard works. You can also use a can of compressed air to really get between the keys. To clean the surface, use a cotton cloth or paper towel that's moistened with rubbing alcohol. Never actually pour alcohol or any other liquid on your keyboard. If you spill something by accident, don't panic. Shut your computer down immediately, then disconnect the keyboard and turn it upside down so the liquid can drain. If the liquid is sticky, you can rinse your keyboard under running water just like this, turned to the side. Then let it drain upside down for two days before reconnecting it. It may not be repairable at this point, but it's worth a try. The best way to avoid this is to keep drinks away from the computer area altogether. Next, take a look at your mouse. If you have an optical mouse, good news! These don't require much cleaning at all, because they don't have any moving parts. Just keep an eye on the light emitter underneath. If something gets stuck here, even a piece of dust, it can keep your mouse from working smoothly. To clean a mechanical mouse, again, make sure it's unplugged. Then remove the tracking ball by turning the ring counterclockwise. It should pop right out. Use a cotton cloth or paper towel to wipe it with a little rubbing alcohol. You can wipe the inside of the mouse too. Make sure all the parts are dry before you put them back together. Here's an easy tip. You can give your mouse a quick cleaning by rubbing it back and forth on a clean white sheet of paper. Sometimes this is enough to remove the dust and dirt that can get stuck underneath. Your monitor is going to be even easier to clean, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Never spray the screen directly with water, cleaner, or any other kind of liquid. It can leak into the monitor and damage the components inside. Never use glass cleaner, like Windex. This can damage your screen if it has an anti-glare coating. The safest method is to unplug the monitor, then wipe it with a soft cloth moistened with water. You should also give some thought to cleaning other parts of your workspace, like the back of your monitor and your computer case. These areas can get pretty dusty if you're not careful. A lint-free cloth, sometimes called a microfiber cloth, is great for wiping the casings. If you see a lot of buildup in the ventilation fans, you can use a can of compressed air to clean them out. Never use furniture cleaner or strong solvents on any of these surfaces. Instead, take your cloth or even a paper towel and spray it with glass cleaner. Now wipe the case and monitor housing, but not the monitor screen, in a downward motion. You can make your own solution using ammonia diluted with water. The milder, the better. One more thing you can do to make sure your computer stays physically healthy is to watch the airflow around the case. That means no books, no stacks of paper, nothing that might block the fans in the back, which are designed to keep your computer from overheating. In fact, if you have a desk with a compartment for the case, you may want to position the case a little towards the front or leave the compartment open if it has a door. Both of these steps will help your computer stay cool. Looks good to me. Just remember to clean your equipment regularly, the right way, and your computer is sure to stay healthy for years to come.